Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at EtherApe, a network monitor program. Um, I'm using it on Arch Linux right now. So right now we can see all the incoming connections, the traffic going across the network, and the different nodes and uh, where they're sending. So right now you see this kind of big, huge blob right here, this purple. Um, this is my HTTPS connection to um, Google Drive. So all the connections and the streams are uh, color coded on the left. So as you can see, this purple color is this HTTPS connection. This blue right here uh, is UDB, UDP connections. So you can see all the different nodes and IP addresses and where they're connecting to. So this is my big upload to Google Drive. As you can see, this big kind of blob shows that there's a lot a lot of traffic happening right there, sending and receiving. So say we want to see these individual nodes right here. So we click on the nodes tool right here. This is the nodes application and we expand it right here. So we can see the individual nodes. And so it's sorted by IP addresses and then we can say, okay, look, there's me right here. I can see how much how much accumulative traffic traffic I've been receiving and sending. So the average size has been 831 bytes and so far I have uh, had over 32,000 packets sent or received. So and if you also double click on a node, um, so say here's some tra traffic happening right here, we'll say what kind of traffic traffic is that? And I'll tell you which kind of protocol, the accumulated traffic, and then when it, when the IP packet was last heard or last captured or sent. So let's look at mine, the Linux machine. Here's my uh, my name for my uh, computer and then my IP address. Um, so uh, we can see our name, our uh, IP address, and then all the different protocols that are being connected to this machine. So we have our ICMP, we have our domain, our boot PS, and then our HTTPS, and this is our my upload to Google Drive. Um, as you can see, there's uh, some traffic right there. There's some more IGMP, um, and it's there's a lot of packets being sent there. So um, that's <clears throat> if you want to view the individual nodes, um, it's very useful. Say you want to see a device, see if it's uh, connecting to the web. It's making its HTTPS connections and HTTP connections. So, but say, hey, we don't want to look at the uh, individual nodes. We want to look at the overall protocols. So we use the protocols tool right beside the nodes. We expand it. Whoop. Kind of just got minimized there somewhere. All right, nice. All right, so we click on protocols. We expand it. And then we can see the overall uh, traffic of what is happening over the network. So we can see right now where there's some HTTPS tra traffic, and that's my Google Drive upload. And then there's some ICMP traffic. And uh, basically, most of these are just the router uh, sending error messages over the network, uh, like 404 uh, web errors, and uh, just like configuring IP addresses and uh, domain name uh, services and um, all kinds of stuff. So mostly, the actual stuff uh, you actually want to look at are these HTTPS traffic and HTTP traffic, traffic, and maybe the IP and UDP. And so once you find, you could use this uh, for many things. You can say, you can use it for, um, for you could use this with a packet sniffer. So you could uh, look at where the traffic is coming from. And then you could use uh, Wireshark or whatnot to actually view the packets and then use something like Ettercap to inject the packets or um, do spoofing or something like that. So basically there's these two ways of viewing it. There's the regular w way showing all the connections. There's the nodes menu, the protocols menu, and then you can use your, you can change the preferences. So um, the these are the different. Um, you can change linear mode to square root. To, I don't really mess with these that much. And then the different capture filters. And then um, so you can see the protocol stack level so that's pretty much um, uh, the most recognized protocol so as you can see HTTPS is pretty much on top um, and then um, just other preferences you can 
views. And if you want to change the color of um, the different protocols, you can just right click or left click, click change color, and it'll change this to yellow. And as you can see, our HTTPS traffic is now yellow. Let's change it back to our purplish color. Nope, wrong color. Change it back to purple. Now it's green. So, um, purple's different now. Um, so that yes, this is very important. Um, you can also change the timings. Uh, so very important for to see the protocols and stuff over the network. Um, you can see a lot. Um, very useful with the incoming connection showing the IP addresses sending to and from that. So thank you for watching. Give it a like and subscribe if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. Um, and just 